Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about that Willy Wonka experience in Scotland. There are more details. People who actually worked on this disaster are speaking out. They've leaked the script. It looks like it was potentially written by AI. Uh, yeah, so it's blown up into uh, quite a thing since we recorded our last video. Uh huh. It's like it's like the the biggest thing ever. I, I'm, our son wishes he could go back in time just to go to it. I know, right? People are gonna <laughs> they're gonna do. You know what's gonna be funny is they're gonna do recreations of this thing, and they're gonna make so much more money. People are already posting pictures of versions of it, of how you can turn it into a Halloween costume. People are already planning on dressing oh as God. the Oompa Loompa and the, the Unknown. The for, Unknown. Which we're going to talk about in a minute for Halloween. <sighs> okay. All right. Let's uh, let's dive back into this disaster. This is this is. There's going to be documentaries on this. They're going to get more oh. mileage out of this thing than. Oh, um, what's her name? Amelia Pond actress, um, Karen Gillan. She said that if they made a lot a movie of this or a documentary of this, she wants to be in it. She wants she wants yes. to be the Oompa Loompa. I don't know if she wants to be Oompa Loompa, but she wants to be in it. Oh my god, they need to do this. They need to do this. That's what Squid King said. Let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. Guys, you get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, so we did a video the other day talking about it, our initial reaction to it, but now there's so much more. There is <laughs> so much more. <laughs> so, so much more. Um, we've got actors speaking out. We've got the guy who played not Willy Wonka, but Willy speaking out. We've got the Oompa Loompas. Not Oompa Loompa, but uh, they've heard they call them something else. Uh, the helpers? I don't they're, know. They're, 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 they're the stand-ins that didn't get sued, kind of. Yeah, uh, so we'll, we'll talk about that. But first, um, since we do deal with theme park stuff, I thought I'd go out to piratesandprincesses.net. Apparently, Universal throwing shade. They have the uh, Toothsome Chocolate Emporium. Which is absolutely amazing and full of chocolate. It is full of actual chocolate. Yeah, apparently there was, there was no chocolate at this event. No, it was, it was just jelly jelly, beans. They, were, they were being told to give them one jelly bean, but she felt bad for them and was giving them three. Them three? <laughs> it's like Charlie Bucket. And a quarter Bucket. glass of lemonade. Charlie Bucket's uh, you know, treat here. Um, yeah, but uh, the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium Universal said there's no AI here. Uh, there isn't. So let's let's uh, go out to, let's see, this is The Independent. They talked to the guy who played Willie. Mm -hmm. um, he's a stand-up comedian. At least they got a comedian. You have to laugh about this. Um, he said the uh, experience organizer, Billy Cole, apologized for his vision of the artistic rendition of a well-known book that didn't come to fruition. <laughs> it offered 850 people. 850 people at like... People were driving for hours to get to this thing. What was it, like 35 pounds? So that's like 50 bucks US. And Something just ballpark. like that, yeah. yeah. And wow. well, if you see their website in comparison to what you got, it was like they promised that they were going to have this garden and oh, there was yeah. going to be this tunnel. Oh my God, the tunnel. Yeah. And there was going to be, you know, there's another area they were going to have. And they're promising all this stuff. And that's not, that's not what it was. <sighs> so this is the Wonka-esque. We can't call him Willy Wonka. He's Willy. Um, at least it's not Willy's Wonderland. Well, they're saying, they're saying Willy Wonka <laughs> in the quotes. But they basically, in the script, he was called Willy something else. Yeah. The Wonka-esque impersonator, Paul Connell, 31, spoke to The Independent. He said, I'm constantly applying for more acting jobs and comedy work. Then they got a phone call on Thursday saying, congratulations, you're going to play Willy Wonka. We'll send you over the script and dress rehearsals tomorrow. He said the script was 15 pages of AI-generated gibberish of me just monologuing these mad things. The bit that got me was where I had to say, there's a man, we don't know his name. We know him as the unknown. This unknown is an evil chocolate maker who lives in the walls. And, and they that, have a video of it. It comes out of the walls. Like, down, go down. So this, this is the video of the unknown. And right apparently, here. I think the unknown was played by a woman. Maybe someone it's was, unknown. Someone was joking that this person <laughs> needs a BAFTA award. <laughs> so the costumes that they people are enjoying us the Oompa Loompa and the unknown um, together, and they're. they're I, I saw that they were like shipping them together. No, they well, they're were... shipping. They're drawing a fan art. Oh on my them. god! They're um, like each character individually. They're getting fan art too. It's just beautiful. So he said it was terrifying for the kids. Is he an evil man who makes chocolate or is the chocolate evil itself? They even misspelt my contract, misspelt my contract, but I do have a legally binding co contract. <laughs> oh my God. I love this guy. Oh, I gotta get him on the podcast. That'd be oh my fun. God, you should. Uh, but I stayed up all night learning it, thinking this would make sense in the dress rehearsal when I see the tech. 
But at the Friday evening dress rehearsal, hours before opening, he turned up to find the immersive and enchanting Willy Wonka experience was, in fact, an empty warehouse with <laughs> few plastic mushrooms. In some ways, it was a world of imagination. Like, imagine that that is a whole chocolate factory here. <laughs> Uh, I spoke to the people running it and thought, surely by the morning it won't look like this. And then I turned up in the morning and it absolutely <laughs> did. Like, this can't be it. This can't be. Oh, shit. The oh, end wait, of wait, 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 wait. What the <laughs> hell? Wait, so then I got to Luigi's Mansion, the bad guy? At the end of the monologue, I was supposed to suck up the unknown man with the vacuum cleaner. Nobody wants to suck an unknown man with a vacuum <laughs> Wait a minute. How are you gonna make that work? It's nougat, I swear. How are you gonna make that work? Well, you, like, you plug it in and you no, flip the switch. Like, even, without special effects, how would that even work? You're just gonna chase a dude with a or woman. It might be a woman with a vacuum cleaner. Well, here's the here's the catch. They didn't actually have a vacuum cleaner. So I asked them if they had a vacuum cleaner, and they said, "Yeah, we haven't really got one, so just improvise." <sighs> so you're supposed. to... God. So I started to cut things out <laughs> thinking that would be silly. All the actors were lovely people. We gathered together in the morning and said, we're probably not going to get paid for this, but kids are still going to come up. Let's make this as magic as possible for them. So they were doing their best to try to keep it going for the kids. Oh, and th just so you know, that's lemonade. I was sitting there thinking, like, um, is, is this the was... urine test for the Oompa Loompas? <laughs> no, I was going to say. Are they doing meth? Well, what they're are they? mushrooms. They're all over the place. No, that was the they, the quarter cup of, mu of lemonade. I almost said mushrooms. Quarter cup of lemonade <laughs> <laughs> they gave the kids. And we'll be, we'll be, thank God I don't think there's anything in that lemonade. Because that's the only way this experience would be fun. Is that they spiked the lemonade. Oh, they my didn't. God. I was making jokes, but we were told to give them one jelly bean and a quarter cup of lemonade. No chocolate at the chocolate experience. There was supposed to be a chocolate fountain somewhere, but I never saw it. I was told I'd give a 15-minute break every 45 minutes. He didn't. I ended up playing Willy Wonka for three and a half hours straight. I didn't know where I ended and Wonka began. I was losing my mind. The organizer came up to me and said, you're spending too much time with the kids. We need to get them through as quickly as possible. We need to get those marks through as quickly as possible. Uh, at this point, <laughs> I, at this point, I was visibly angry. I was like, "Now there's going to be a lot of disappointed kids." Oh, now that was now. I think as soon as they walked through the door, they're, <laughs> they were disappointed. The actor said he finally managed to get lunch break, trying to spend it sitting in his car, staring at the floor. Trying to avoid the sight of crying children being turned away by security. When I came back, that's when everything kicked off, he explained. There was an angry mob at the door not being let in. I had to wedge my way through. Sure, they, they weren't trying to get out. Uh, so they weren't, they, at that point, they decided strike to cancel that, it. Strike that, reverse it. At that point, they decided to cancel it. So the people had got in, got in early, and then by the afternoon, they said, hey, that's a bad idea. We should cancel it. People were shouting. P people who put on the event were crying. There were arguments. People turned around everywhere. The set had been trashed. But it was the trash. Parents, the parents went and trashed it worse than it was. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I'm thinking, and this is an old reference, but we're talking about old movies. Uh, Tommy, where they get mad that we're not going to take it. And they start wrecking his pinball camp or whatever. You know, they're like, we're not going to take this. I wanted four beans. It was getting dangerous for us. It was heartbreaking, to be honest. There were kids in costume better than ours crying. There were kids in costume better than ours crying i used to be a teacher and that was triggering i'm sure me. it was as a teacher and a mom I, I couldn't do it i'd be like i would i'd be one of the people like ripping them and ripping everybody else a new one i mean like i mean if i was this actor guy and i see in that and i was being triggered i'd be like, down their throat with both feet the people that were in the show uh one thing i will make clear is everyone has been so nice to the actors okay, good um we didn't take any abuse but we gave abuse to the people running it the good. whole thing was disrespectful to the families and as us as promising actors. Uh, there were three Willy Wonkas, but I was the most unlucky because I went first and stayed for three and a half hours doing it through either commitment or stupidity. So he's going to be doing a stand-up tour. Oh, God, I'm sure. <laughs> I hope he brings his hat with him. It's a night I'll try to forget. Sadly, not only will I remember it, everyone I know will remember it too. They did their best, yeah. Um, wow. Yeah, they, they tried to make it. They tried to make it better for the kids because the kids were upset. But it, you know, if you haven't, if you haven't, you know, seen the pictures or anything yet, go out and look for them. It's it's a thing. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna find some other pictures here. But this this is like the guy who organized it, right? He said, "I'm really shocked that the event had fallen short of the expectations of people on paper." It was nothing like. Okay, if you go 
do they have a link to their website? Here's the website. It's expectations. Here's what they promised. The Enchanted Garden. Giant sweets, vibrant blooms, mysterious looking sculptures, and magical surprises add an extra layer of wonder to your chocolatey experience. Navigate their peculiar but enchanting garden, collecting delicious beans of color, shapes, and sizes. Yeah, you They're allowed to have one to three, if you add, depending on who you ask. Good if you're now. really lucky, if you're really lucky, you get three. Veruca gets three beans. Imagination Lab. In the Imagination Lab, prepare to be captivated by visual a visual spectacle. Encounter mind-expanding projections, optical marvels, and exhibits that transport you into a realm of creativity. The space invites you on a surreal journey. Oh, it was surreal. Where the boundaries between reality and fantasy harmoniously merge, resulting in an enchanting and visually striking encounter. Brace yourself for an adventure that will leave you spellbound. <laughs> it left people something. And the Twilight Tunnel. Oh, my God, the tunnel's the best part. In the Twilight Tunnel, get ready for an exhilarating and immersive adventure. Journey through a dimly lit passage adorned with captivating projections, enigmatic sounds, and surprising turns that will immerse you in a suspense and excitement. It's a heart pounding <laughs> experience without a space you've never experienced before. Um, okay, so this obvious... <coughs> okay, so this obvious AI art. I was going to say, did you see the words? Yeah, dim tight, dip tractions, vivu sounds... Enigmatic sounds. Objection. Un, uh, un, <laughs> That's the vacuum part. <laughs> Ungrable, spied, and pretty, and unexpected twits. Unexpected <laughs> twits. Unexpected twits. Okay, so then the rest is just talking about oh, we're going to be entertainment and, and and like songs and lollipops and all this other stuff. Cagitating okay? live performances, carchy tons, exercise. I see. I don't. <laughs> It's on the website. So I'm sitting here thinking, like, is this, is this, there, like, does somebody have a really thick accent? Why does this bear have a vagina? <laughs> Why does this bear oh my God. have a vagina? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's a passive dice of sweet teats. <laughs> that's, the, does... that's the bear's name. Sweet teats. Sweet teats the bear. Hey kids, you want to flick my bean? <laughs> Only one. one. That's where the bean was. <laughs> She'll give you a bean. Oh it's lemonade, I swear. Jeez. And trying entertainment. <laughs> Come with me, and you'll see. A world of enshrining <laughs> entertainment. We've got exerdurs ray lollipops <laughs> and, and a passadice of sweet tweets. <laughs> tweets. <laughs> oh my god. I can't breathe. Holy shit. <laughs> God, I would look at this website. Like, look, oh I'm, I, I'm crying. I'm my not. Mascara is not waterproof. Shit, <laughs> I'm not it's somewhere. I'm not trying to bust on the parents. But did you look at the website before you went? Like, did you look at the but website before you, you went? The other parts. It doesn't. It's about that last picture. It's not too bad. You can skim through. It, like, oh, okay, that sounds great. You got to see the tunnel though. God. Okay, I think it's on here. This is um this is coming from what Indy One Hundred, and they're talking about how the uh, this is the uh, meth oompa loompa. This is the one you keep seeing trying. To, she they said she tried so hard too to try to get. She was sneaking kids three jelly beans. Three. She was sneaking them three jelly beans. Yeah, she she took from her own personal bean uh, stockpile. I would I would actually run down. To, so I don't know if they have like. Dollar stores in Scotland, like we have Dollar General around here, and you can like all over, like every street corner's got a dollar store, right? But I would like sneak out to the dollar store and get them some jelly beans and just be like, here, here. Kids. They weren't even getting paid. They weren't even getting paid. She was trying to make it nice for the the kids. This person said this queen did her best with those kids, despite it being a shit show. Um, okay, is this the tunnel? There's, There's the, the tunnel. All here right, is, let's look is, at the tunnel. This is this is the tunnel, guys. This is the mysterious tunnel. Oh my god. That's that's the uh, the unexplained, the unknown. Unknown. The, this is like that was a there was a mysterious darkened. That was a mysterious darkened tunnel. And uh, here's the here's is this like the the the, the, the room with the uh, the ma experiments. Yeah, I think that kid's enjoying his quarter cup of lemonade. Oh Warehouse my. bar. <laughs> that's where all the parents are. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. God. I I can't. This is. Oh shit. Oh, let's see. All right, so this is coming from Vulture, Glasgow's 
Sad Oompa Loompa isn't going to sugarcoat this. That is not what they got. Um, let's see. Uh, she talks about the photos. That's her. It's Kirsty Patterson. She opened up. Tell me about yourself. What do you do when you're not dressed as an Oompa Loompa? She wanted to be in children's entertainment. How'd you get roped into the event? Was it listed somewhere? They asked her. She said, it was listed on Indeed. I normally don't get my acting jobs through Indeed. Most people don't. But I just thought, all right, to be honest, I was a wee bit skeptical because it was not through an agency. <laughs> they were offering uh, 500 pounds for two days of work, so I decided to go. Well, good luck collecting on that. Maybe they'll give her some beans. Uh, you went to the warehouse on Friday for a dress rehearsal. What happened at that meeting? I was shocked, to be honest. I wasn't expecting it to be like that. It seemed like there was a production going, but to me, it wasn't a finished production. Yeah, that's what he said, too. Yeah, just the start. So they're probably thinking, well, this morning they're going to move more stuff in or whatever. It was the first time me and the other actors met. I never had a script uh, the night before ever in my life. So when I got the script the night before, I was like, oh, this is not. They kept going on about how you could just improvise. I was skeptical of them saying that too, because if you'd written a script, then you probably pride yourself on what you've written, right? You wouldn't no. want people to improvise. <laughs> We're going to look at the script in a minute. Yeah, I kind of thought it was AI generated, but by this point, I'd signed the contract. Uh, Were you shown the costumes that day, the set? This is the mental thing about the costumes. Given the amount of people we're paying to go and the amount they're paying us, I thought they'd have sufficient costumes. So at this point, I was like, what do you want us to wear? What's the makeup like? Because it's a Willy Wonka experience, you need to have good costumes. Uh, we didn't know what we were wearing at that point. Uh, they said that uh, we were going to be working through the night or whatever, so I just assumed it was going to be a lot better. Um, what happened when you turned up Saturday? So basically, they, they thought, like, okay, this is just rough. Uh, you know, come Saturday morning, all the stuff is going to be here. The costume is going to be here. The set's going to be here. Everything's going to be here. Uh, it was the exact same on Saturday morning. I was like, I don't know if I actually want to do this, but I'd sign the contract. And part of me didn't want to disappoint the kids. Well, you're famous now in a good way. In a good way. They actually said that she's, yeah, she was, she was a class act. Uh, honestly, it was bad enough. I knew it was shocking, but I know I'm good at what I do. So I'm like, if I can bring a wee bit of something good to this. So at this point, they gave us the costumes. They were so inappropriate for what it was. It was just strange. And they were really cheaply made. It was almost like they were secondhand. <laughs> I'm sure they were. Because Willy Wonka said some of the kids turned up in better costumes yeah. than they had. Were you, wear were you wearing orange body paint in that photo? No. They didn't have any makeup or anything. It's something I'd never experienced in my life. Uh, by this point, I'm judging myself for letting it go as long as it did. <laughs> Tell me about the mo okay. This just goes on and on and on. But they're they're like, tell me about the moment the kids start coming in. Did you see the innocence leave their eyes? Did you have some that? That was funny. Oh my god! But it goes on. It's on Vulture. Um, you know, are you are you aware of how viral the picture is when she was at the the meth lab? Basically, she says she's like, it's been fun for me. I find it funny. I can make a humorous joke about it. The flip side of this is that it's embarrassing for what I do. I hope this doesn't tarnish that. It is a, it, as as if it's been edited. Obviously, because it's such an ugly photo, people were commenting on it and saying, I look uglier. Or, oh. Like, I'm not <laughs> Like a math head. I, I found the negative comments really hard, but I do see the funny side of it. I know I'm all right looking. No, she's actually pretty cool. Um, they were running with one picture because she just looks like so, like, defeated in the picture. Yeah, you know, she that Everybody's talking about it. She's so defeated. There's a Facebook group about it, and they had the script. And this is where they got this from. I guess this is, again, by the actors. Here's what the script looked like. And it wasn't Willy Wonka. It was Willie McDuff. And it was Winky Doodles, not Oompa Loompas. Yeah, so this is coming from uh, uh, Seamus O'Reilly on, on Twitter. Wonka Doodle. Wonka Doodle won. Oh, and if you see a butterfly, whisper your sweetest dream to it. There are official secret keepers and dream carriers of the garden. And Willie McDuff. Now I must ask, has anyone seen the elusive... Bubble bloom. It's a rare flower that blooms just once every blue moon and fills the air with shimmering bubbles. The stage crew discreetly activates bubble machines. Filling. Did you see any bubbles? Mm -mm. I didn't see any bubbles. It's probably I some, saw a bear probably, with a vagina. It's probably some person named Bubbles who runs around in a skin suit or something. Oh my god. <laughs> or somebody with Whoa. a bubble wand and then they're like, you know, <laughs> trying desperately to fill the room with bubbles. Wonka Doodle 2. Quick, each bubble holds a whisper of enchantment. Catch one and make a wish. Willie McDuff. Willie McDuff. It's groundskeeper that's, that's Willie the, McDuff. That's the crime. From, that's from what's McDuff, the crime dog's cousin. Willie McDuff. Oh my God. Remember in the Garden of Enchantment, every moment is a chance for magic. Every corner hides a story and every bubble holds a dream. So is McDuff like Duff Beer's cousin? You know, you know, this cousin is, from Scotland. This is this is going to be a Simpsons episode. They're going to have groundskeeper Willie 
wait, with wait, wait, Duff wait, beer wait, 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 in a warehouse. Wait, wait. Read the next. Read the the, the, the the direction. This is impossible. Opens his hand after he catches a bubble. Bubble gently pops, releasing a small twinkling light that ascends to the rafters, leaving the audience and leaving the audience in awe. How the hell are you supposed to do that? <laughs> I don't know. The machine doesn't know. The machine doesn't have fingers. Doesn't understand how these things work. Uh, Willie McDuff, with warmth. My dear friends, take this time to explore, to laugh, and to dream. For this garden, the magic is real, and the possibilities are endless. Yeah, and who knows? The next wonder you encounter me, just be around the next bend. I want somebody to take this uh, seemingly AI script and run it through the new uh, AI to video generator that they have and give us what what the director's cut would have right. been. Like, mm -hmm. give us the director's cut of Willie McDuff and his magic bear I, with a muff. I just love the... <laughs> Like when it's like, oh, and they keep putting these things. The audience is fully immersed with the interactive magical experience. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> here, my dear guests, you may quench your thirst with lemonade that fizzes and dances on the tongue and chase bubbles that burst with flavors unimaginable. A toast to, a to they even have toast. A toast to adventure shared friendships forged in the heart of the unknown. This is like, speaking of which, this is like Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. They just went into the garage and they got a bunch of shit and a bowl full of jelly beans and some pretzels and popcorn and some thing have toast. And they say, here, kids. I love this over here. I get that lazy and uncreative people will use AI to generate concepts, but the script, it barfs out, has animatronic <laughs> flowers, glowing orbs, rivers of lemonade, and giggling grass. You still have to make those things exist. I'm confused as to how that part was misunderstood. Did they have giggle grass Apparently there? Because I don't think grass. it's legal. <laughs> I don't know if it's legal to give kids <laughs> giggle grass. After um, you drink your quarter cup of lemonade, the audience is now relieved and rejuvenated by the whimsical turn of events. I'm like, I just can't. Hell? Okay, anyway, so basically it's a clusterfuck <laughs> of epic proportions. They should not just... be confused with, with, with uh, Teats the Bear. Teats the Bear. I, I... That's a different fuck. I'm sorry. There we go, guys. There we go. Um, so that's it. The actors are speaking out. God, I would love to. I would love to talk to them about this at some point. There are going to be documentaries. There are going to be movies. There are going to be internet history videos. But I mean, kudos to them, clean. They weren't going to get yeah. paid, and they did everything they could to try to make it better. But even then, there was only so much you could do. Like, you can only do so much when you don't have anything to work with at all. And they didn't even tell them they weren't going to make up so they could bring it with them. Like, I mean. Oh, my God. All right. Are we going to wrap this up? Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.